Well, um, this meal that I made for us today uh, features spanakopita um, and Greek salad. And the uh, spanakopita is made with, um, I made it with kale, I made it without feta because um, James is lactose intolerant and I don't, I don't really want to chance it and I shouldn't have any dairy. So, um, made that. And then um, the Greek salad, I used a recipe, I can't remember who it was from, it was from some guys from uh, Quebec, I think, for um, feta and it's, it's a, like a feta substitute and it works out pretty well. But um, it's made with coconut oil and it does kind of, and I think it was hmm, something else too. I can't remember anyway. I can't remember what all went into that, but it does kind of taste like coconut. So, because um, you have to actually um, mince up some unsweetened coconut too and stick it in there and stuff like that. So anyway, um, it, it's, I, I don't know that I'd recommend that. What, what do you think about that feta? We've eaten it before. I like it pretty well. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, it's a very healthy alternative. And uh, James thinks I should eat more coconut oil. Um, I'm still a little bit scared about it, but I know I definitely shouldn't eat that. Um, basically, everything that's on my plate is less calories than this. And um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I really don't need to eat garlic toast, I think. I'm, I'm going to try to only eat this and see if hopefully I'm, I'm not too um, hungry still. I should, I should be fine with just that. But yeah, um, in James's glass is tomato juice. It looks terrible, but it's just because uh, I made it with the Cherokee tomatoes and um, those burgundy and green striped little guys there. And it comes out to a not a very fun color. But yeah, James, if you want to try that Spanakopita and just tell me how it is because I didn't put any feta in it and I wanted to get the um, kind of brininess of feta. So what I did was I took um, garlic that I'd pickled and dill that I'd pickled and minced it up and stuck it in there. What do you think? The crispy stuff's perfect. I'm trying to get some of the filling. <laughs> oh, and what I did with the spanakopita too is I, like normally you'd make spanakopita, you'd be putting butter or you, uh, you could use ghee in between the layers of phyllo, right? And um, so I haven't made this in a very long time because I don't want to eat that um, ingredient. So um, there's this butter flavored. Um, uh, coconut oil that I got that I've used for a recipe before it was a um, uh, do-it-yourself uh, protein bar recipe um, but I used it for this and James thinks it's great um, I, I didn't have any concerns that it wouldn't be so that's just coconut oil between the phyllo pastry sheets it worked out perfectly perfect it might be even better than the other it's very, very good I'm gonna say about the filling you know, this is a selling feature it sounds like an advertisement, but it's true. I can't believe it's kale. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. I, I, I put um, kale. kale in my spanakopita instead of spinach because we've been eating loads of kale. We, I mean, this is what we have, so this is what we're using. And usually kale's pretty, you can pretty much substitute it for spinach and recipes. It, like so. grapefruit would be a very, in regular form, <laughs> would be like a very good uh, foundation for a diet because <laughs> it kills your appetite. But not in this recipe, right? I can't believe it's kale. <laughs> okay, so did did it work, you think, with the garlic and the dill too? Does Is the flavor the, good all around for the spanakopita? Well, you don't notice the difference. That's what you really? do with a good recipe. Really? I did so, that well. Together, yep, Yay. it's a filling. So. <laughs> okay, wonderful. That's yeah, awesome. I put quinoa in there to increase the protein. Um, it doesn't taste crunchy or anything in. like that, so. Wonderful. I wouldn't okay. even know quinoa is in there. Great. So there you go. I like so it, it but it's not crunchy, so. Okay. Wonderful. Normally I'd put Kalamata olives for the Greek salad, but um, I couldn't find them in the fridge. My fridge is kind of crazy right now. Uh, so I gave up and I just used these. Perfectly fine. Okay. Wonderful.